Modern swinging door, structural flat steel mauling. If not done from the factory, remove all shim blocks and nail fin on the side of frames that will be mauled. If you're mulling to the in-swing hinge side, remove the two fasteners that attach the backer to the jam and the six fasteners that attach the hinge to the backer. Set the hinge aside for later use. Use the template included in the job box to mark and fabricate end cuts on the steel. Try fit the mole bracket over the end of the steel to make sure the tab on the steel fits cleanly through the hole in the bracket. Repeat the fabrication procedure on the opposite end. Position the first frame in the opening. Shim and plumb the first jam on the desired vertical plane. Fasten and shim along the jam with screws into the rough opening. If the next unit you're mulling is a door, measure and mark 4 and 7 16 inches from the jam of the first door. Install the second sill support at this location, 3 and 5 16 inches away from the exterior sheathing line. Temporarily position the mull bracket on the sill. You might need to shim the bracket to the correct height. The bracket should sit flush with the bottom of the frame. Position the steel tight against the step in the frame. The tab will fit in the hole in the sill bracket. Clamp the steel to the frame. Make sure the brackets don't extend past the interior edge of the frame. Mark the hole locations in the sill. Remove the steel and brackets and pre-drill into the sill. Inject sealant in the holes and then fasten the bracket to the sill. Replace the steel on the frame and in the sill bracket, making sure it's tight against the step in the frame. Slide the top mull bracket onto the top of the steel. Shim the bracket so that when it's fastened to the rough opening, it will be no more than one eighth of an inch away from the frame. Fasten the top bracket to the rough opening with 3-inch screws provided. Using the pre-drilled installation holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with a number 23 drill bit. You might need to pre-drill with a 1-8 inch drill bit first. Always finish with a specific bit size. Fasten the frame to the mole steel through the installation holes. Drill through the open holes in the head jam bracket and jam strike with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the strikes with color match screws provided.
On hinge mulls, temporarily replace the hinge and pre-drill into the screw holes with a number 18 drill bit. Fasten the hinge to the frame with the screws provided. On outswing hinge mulls, pre-drill into the two open holes with a number 18 drill bit. Fasten the hinge to the frame with the screws provided. Use the written mulling instructions as a guide for pre-drilling and fastening at the remaining hardware locations. Apply a quarter inch bead of sealant beside the exterior frame accessory kerf. Run the bead along the entire length of the frame. Set the second frame in place in the opening. Align the frames and clamp. Install the exterior mull cap. Seat the cap with a rubber mallet. Using a drill with a stop collar, drill into the installation holes with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the second frame to the mull with the screws provided. Pre-drill and fasten at all hardware and installation hole locations on the second frame. Making sure the second frame is aligned along the correct exterior plane, fasten the head jam with the installation screws provided. Complete fastening the second frame to the rough opening. Maintain a square and plumb installation, then shim and fasten at every fastener location between the frame and rough opening. Install the interior frame covers. Start with the jams first, then install the sill and head jam covers last. Install the interior mull cap and seat with a rubber mallet. Structural flat steel mulling on your swinging door is now complete. Be sure to view other related videos at our YouTube channel or visit www.marvin.com.